Hi Sagittarius, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take the messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Who's Sagittarius dealing with? Spirit, who is Sagittarius dealing with? Okay, Wheel of Fortune, you could be dealing with a fixed sign. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Now, this being who you're dealing with, I do feel like this is some type of... Let's see, I'm going to clarify that before I speak further. Yeah, Ten of Cups. It's destined, okay? I was going to say destined and fated, but I was hesitant, okay? But this is fated. This is a fated partnership meant for big things with the Ten of Cups. Uh, you make each other happy, okay? Um, very powerful relationship here with the Wheel of Fortune. Some of you guys may not have come into full alignment with this person, but it's happening, okay? And it's destined for great things. So the Ten of Cups, like this is your perfect partnership, Sagittarius, all right? Uh, maybe a family involved somehow. Some of you guys may have children with this person, um, but it's definitely... Uh, this is a big deal, all right? Further clarify. Virgo energy. You see how he's holding this lantern? Now, Sagittarius, what if I told you that this partnership, this fated relationship was meant for you two to light the way, okay? Um, it does feel like you guys have both soul, done some serious soul searching. Now the beginning stages of this connection, um, you two could be in hermit mode here. Really, uh, you know, filling each other out with the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Cups, the hermit, maybe keeping something on the down low. Um, if this relationship hasn't happened yet, it is coming out that that's a very important part of the connection. And personally, I believe it's saying that's the per that's important part of the connection, Sagittarius, because you two are trying to connect on a deeper level without outside energy getting involved. So I do feel that for you and this person. Okay, we have the nine of pentacles that wanted to come out along with the two of pentacles. I will say this person has a tendency to put their energy all over the place. Okay. The specifics of that are going to be different to each of you, but this person does spread themselves very thin in the name of independence and success. In Sagittarius, I feel like uh, an important thing you should know about this person is they do value their space. They do value their independence. But the great thing is I think you do too. <laughs> I mean, you do too. Okay, so how does this person see Sagittarius right now? How do they see Sagittarius? Oh, hi, Jasper. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Okay, this is my Pisces cat. Let's see. Well, looky there. That's your energy, Sagittarius. They definitely see you as somebody who is um, an angel. I know that's cliche. That's what I'm getting. This person sees you as an earth angel or, uh, you know, someone that they're in a divine union with, with the temperance card. 
they see you as peaceful in the Ten of Cups that, you know, clarifying the fact that this does look like a harmonious, peaceful connection. Very beautiful. We're going to put this back. How do they see Sagittarius, please? Spirit, how do they see Sagittarius? King of Pentacles? You could be a, you could have your own business, Sagittarius, okay? Or you're just stable. I feel like that's something that is attracting this person. Whether you're male or female, this is someone who is stable. And guys, if you're dealing with a masculine energy, this person wants to provide you stability. Them seeing you as the King of Pentacles, they see you as someone who's worth worth investing into. And this is somebody that sees you as they want to support you and whatever it is that you do. Very intense. The devil's at the bottom of the deck, but what I'm getting from this devil card, it's more so like very intense connection. I feel like it will have its disruptions as every connection does. Um, but for the most part, this, this connection just feels very intense, very purposeful, very destined. How do they feel about Sagittarius, Four of Pentacles? <laughs> okay, so they could feel like you have a tendency to, you know, let me clarify that before I speak about it, but... That four of pentacles for how they feel, Sagittarius. They can feel slightly controlled by you. Uh, however, however you may be controlling them. This could be you controlling their emotions. Um, let's see. Uh, you know, it can be a possessive energy. Seven of pentacles. It's kind of like you control their decisions. Maybe you don't realize you're doing that. But the decisions they're making and the investments they're, they're making, you have a lot to do with it somehow. And you have a lot to do with their decision making, possibly because, you know, the Ten of Cups, they care about how you feel. So, you know, the King of Pentacles, he is somebody that is stable. And with the Four of Pentacles, I feel like they value... They value, you know, your opinion, and I feel like this is somebody that wants to make sure you know that they're invested. Like, they want you to know that, yes, I'm invested in you, Sagittarius. You know, for a small group of you, you could make this person feel um, backed into a corner. But they're, they're, very, they're very much so about money right now. Let's see, how does Sagittarius see this person? Three of Swords. You can see them going through something here. Okay, Sagittarius, some of you guys uh, could see this person as potentially hurting you. That Three of Swords can also talk about being torn. Hmm. Some of you Sagittarians may feel like you have to watch this person with the Three of Swords, the Page of Swords. It feels like maybe there's a sense of you not trusting somebody fully, okay? Because your emotions, the Page of Swords is kind of like, uh, you know, you may be trying to protect your heart, you know, some way and, and just kind of keeping an eye on this person's behavior. I will tell you guys, they're very, they are invested in you, okay? And time is fluid, so this could be happening in the future. We have the Empress, Leo, Taurus, and not Leo, Libra. <laughs> I don't know why I said Leo. Libra, Taurus energy. It kind of looked like the strength. The, the, other, the card in here looks like the strength card, but I think that's why I said Leo. But You could, of course, be dealing with one, but this is Libra, Taurus energy.
some of you guys, there may be a sense of Page of Swords, Temperance, not Temperance, why do I keep, <laughs> I'm so sorry guys, okay, the Empress, this is a new deck, so bear with me, it is the Empress, because the Venus symbol is down there, Sag uh, Sagittarius, so, some of you guys feel like you have to watch this person, okay, or watch out for other people, but I don't think you have to because this person does seem to be all about you. Um, now always trust your intuition here, but with the page of swords, uh, the Empress, some of you guys may be bothered with the three of swords or worried about this connection because maybe, you know, it has been on the down low. Okay. With the hermit and maybe you guys are ready for this person to show you off with the page of swords. And, you know, that's very important to you, okay? And I feel like when that time comes, that's definitely something to discuss with this person because Seven of Pentacles, they're invested. The Four of Pentacles, uh, this is somebody that is controlled by you in a sense of they're going to make decisions that make you happy. Hmm. What do they want from Sagittarius? The Sun. That's Leo energy. You know, this is about them wanting what you want, right? When that comes out in that category in a general reading, they want what you want. I feel like this person wants happiness, okay? Small portion of you, they could want a child with you. A breakthrough, okay? Ace of Swords. A breakthrough in communication. But Sagittarius, this really feels like somebody just wants to talk with you. They want to know what's on your mind. They want to know what makes you you, okay? They want to know what makes you happy. Guys, whoever you're dealing with, this person is wanting to know how you, what you think, how you think, what's on your mind, what will make you happy. And they want you to talk to them. Like, they definitely want, they value your opinion here. They value your mind and what you have to offer. Page of Cups. This could be a new connection for some of you, not all of you. This could also be a connection that has uh, the Will of Fortune can also, it's me as a reader, the Will of Fortune with the Hermit. It's kind of like one of those connections that has stand the test of time. Or this will stand the test of time. Or it has potential to, right? We all have free will. But the Page of Cups, you know, it does feel fresh to me. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have air. And we have fixed energy. Why the Page of Cups? Three of Cups. They want to come together on something. You know, this is someone that feels led to follow their heart. What's the most likely outcome in this connection? So most likely outcome, Eight of Swords, Two of Cups. Somebody is, in, in the month of September, somebody's definitely going to feel slightly insecure here, okay, in their head. Um, this, this Eight of Swords is a self-made cage, right? Two of Cups. I feel like this person does have something to say to you, but they might be holding it back, is what it's telling me, Sagittarius. They may feel stuck between a rock and a hard place. And then we have the Chariot here, Cancerian Energy. That's my full speed ahead card. 
I feel like this person is realizing that they're the only ones that has been keeping this connection stuck or... This is definitely an energy of somebody wanting to move forward with the connection, guys. Because they love you or they're falling for you here. Um, Eight of Swords. I'm not quite sure what they're in their head about. Okay. But I feel like this person may have a tendency to feel trapped in situations. It just might be something that is, you know. Because it's telling me they might, they may feel a little trapped here. of pentacles i feel like it has to do with work okay um their their stability so i feel like this person could be a little insecure about their stability um even if they are successful okay with the king of pentacles somebody is a little insecure about their stability and i feel like this person may also have some insecurities about the long term You know, this is, this is like a common fear, like possibly wondering if you two are going to stand the test of time, but they're fully invested. There's just some type of mental conflict they're in about their stability and about the long term uh, of this connection. There's some doubts there. Okay. Um, and you know, these doubts could stem from them putting you on a pedestal with the seven of pentacles. Give me one more card, please. Yeah. Now, if they're loyal to you, Sagittarius. Devoted. This person is devoted to you. And they want to, they, I heard they want to start off right, but they, they really want to get things going, okay? They really want to pay very close attention to the details of this connection. The night can be slow moving. Then we have the Knight of Cups with the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck along with the Hierophant. And then we have the Lovers after that. Uh, so what you don't see, guys, I definitely feel like this person is falling in love with you or they are in love with you, your essence, your personality. And they're devoted, guys. This is a this person is devoted to you. Eight of cups. I just wanted to get one more clarifying card, guys. This could be new love for some of you. It doesn't have to be. It could be with the Three of Cups. It also talks about rekindling a relationship. Uh, the Three of Cups to me can also talk about coming out. Um, however that, you know, relates to you, but the hermit and then the three of cups, the page of cups, this is somebody that's about to make a gesture here. Okay. This is somebody that's about to make you very happy with whatever it is their actions are. Okay. The knight of cups, this person is led by his romantic feelings. So this person, no doubt they are in love with you. They are ready for a partnership, something amazing. Okay. There's just a little bit of insecurity there about the long term whatever, you know, their personal insecurities are and why they're feeling that way is going to be different. All right, Sagittarius, those are your messages. Until next time. Bye.